In the last stream, we were working on finally crafting these 11 ultimate singularities, which we are going to need if we want to today get the creative vending upgrade, which I think is quite possibly within our grasp. I think we can get this before the end of today's episode. To do that, we have to first make one of these final power flowers mark 16 to do that we are going to need a couple of things we're going to need a creative chemical tank i'll bookmark that i'm also going to unbookmark everything from the last episode i'll bookmark the creative fluid tank the creative storage disc the creative motor and the creative energy cube along with the final star and of course we already have the ultimate singularities so the first and easiest thing for us to do is going to be to get the creative chemical tank because this one doesn't require any actual final stars. It just requires two final star shards. Of course, we do need to set up automation for these final star shards. But before we get to that, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this EMC link right here. Right now it's a tier four EMC link and you'll see that it sends eight soul sand every second down and that soul sand gets turned into nether quartz between streams i have moved one of our dark matter pedestals with the watcher flowing time over to this setup because as i mentioned in the last episode i think the most difficult part about this final batch of crafting is going to be the creative storage disc to make the creative storage disc we are going to need a ton of storage parts which require a ton of quartz enriched iron as well as a ton of silicon and a ton of processor bindings which in turn require a ton of string and a ton of slime balls although i do see oil clumps as a possibility there which i didn't see previously and so that actually makes this substantially easier because oil clumps do indeed have an emc value and so i think the only thing that we don't have a lot of that we need a lot of is nether quartz which we need for quartz enriched iron and also silicon which you get by smelting nether quartz there are other ways you can make it you can for example make it with the material stoneworks factory but the quantity of silicon that we need is so great then i don't think the material stoneworks factory is going to be able to produce enough in a reasonable amount of time and what we can do instead is we can go ahead and uh, i guess temporarily take this out because it's going to come out anyway when i break the magenta emc link again right now this can only move eight items per second or only produce i should say eight items per second we can of course upgrade that if we go ahead and steal two of these we're up at 1128 of these advanced mechanical essence which of course isn't the full 1600 required but we are getting there uh, we then need two purple matter that is doable albeit it is expensive i am a little concerned about the 96 million emc that we have i think it should be fine but i am going to go ahead and spend another 10 million here on getting us the violet emc link which can produce 64 items per second and so now if we go ahead and add soul sand to this emc link and of course set it to extract with the diamond pipe upgrade that should pull a stack of soul sand down at a time unless yeah unless the item pipe upgrade itself is the bottleneck in which case we can go ahead and maybe look at upgrading that to the netherite version do we have what it takes we do we can then go ahead and craft that up and now this i believe should move the full 64 every single time and the watcher flowing time should make this substantially faster at producing nether quartz and all of that nether quartz should make its way down and around into this drawer while we wait for that to do its thing let's go and take a look up here so we have 2048 basic mechanical lessons we have 519 regular mechanical lessons 2048 improved mechanical lessons and then over here right on the end we've got 1130 advanced mechanical essence so the only change that i've made since the end of the last stream is that i've added a bunch of speed and energy upgrades to this setup right here that is producing the fissile fuel pellets because i think yeah those are our bottleneck we're not getting enough fissile fuel to make enough fissile fuel pellets to keep up with the creation of these advanced mechanical essence and i think the problem here is the same problem that we were running into before over here and that's just that we're not making enough sulfur dust so now that i've sped this up this little sulfur dust production here is not fast enough however we do of course now have a very easy quick and convenient way of making all of our stuff faster and that is of course stealing this watch of flowing time uh, thankfully 
the mechanism machines aren't power limited and so you can kind of just put as many watches of flowing time as you like around mechanism machines as long as you have enough power being sent to them to power them at that speed so if we were to do something like this i am going to press f3b again to show me the hitbox because i don't want to go too far forward but that looks fine and then if we do this hopefully that is going to massively increase the amount of sulfur dust that we're producing this is not inside i might move this one further over actually simply because of the fact that i would like the machine that's turning sulfur dust into like liquid sulfur to be a little faster as well that being uh, this machine right here the chemical oxidizer i want the chemical oxidizer to be within the hitbox radius of the watch of flowing time so that hopefully we're making that uh, sulfur dioxide much much faster and that should in turn allow us yeah to start banking up on the uranium hexafluoride here and therefore start to back up on fissile fuel and fissile fuel pellets that is the plan we could of course make this faster you can make it into a factory but i think this is fine it's no longer the limiting factor in fact i think now the limiting factor is probably how fast our system can make uh, elite control circuits i have enabled both of these watches of flowing time to try and make everything in our base faster so we're making all of the circuits faster and sending them over as fast as we possibly can and so i don't think it's going to take that long now to get the 1600 advanced mechanical essence in fact again now the bottleneck i think is still just the fluid encapsulators i think the uh, basin is capable of making all of the things faster than these fluid encapsulators can process them i did make one change here between streams i moved the flux point down by one i'm not quite sure why in the last episode this machine wasn't really getting power despite the fact that we had the flux point directly there underneath it uh, but I've moved it down one, and now it seems to be working just fine. All of these machines are getting power and doing as they should. And there's just so many items flying around under this platform now. The Pretty Pipes Network has got to be uh, got to be kind of strained. But now that that is taken care of, let's see about repurposing this setup over here for these final star shards. So again, I'll bookmark that. We need seven deployers for that we are going to need four more electron tubes and in fact we should have a bunch of polished quartz backing up over here we do indeed let's go ahead and steal the 64 polished quartz from there one two three and four more electron tubes we then need four more brass hands and i don't think i have that many brass plates i do not that is completely fine though because as per usual we do have the metal press available over here and if we grab our trusty hand crank and our time in a bottle, we can do something like this. Again, we can't go too hard on this, otherwise it uh, stops working entirely. But let's quickly get 16 brass plates. Fantastic. And from there, we should have everything it takes, potentially, if we don't uh, run out of andesite alloy. Yeah, I had a feeling we might not have enough andesite alloy. That is also completely fine let us quickly craft up some andesite alloy we can make that with andesite and iron nuggets andesite we can make with cobblestone and covalence dust both of which we have a fairly large amount of in the system and then we can do something like this to get a bunch of andesite alloy and of course get four brass hands once we have those that should be basically everything for one two three and four deployers once we've got the seven of those down we no longer need these chests to be where they are we can break those uh, we can get rid of this brass funnel for now that's also fine uh, the same is true with this drawer we no longer need this drawer in fact this drawer is part of the process and although we could use pretty pipes to send the items over to here i think it is going to make a lot more sense and just be a lot faster uh, if we go ahead get some item pipes and just put the drawers directly above their associated deployer so if we disconnect these like so and if i check the recipe for the final star the precision mechanism here is number three, so it is going to go right about there. And that's going to keep this deployer full of precision mechanisms. We can do the exact same thing, of course, with nitro crystals. We have those available over here. We've got the 1,680 exactly that we need. We'll put those right down next to the precision mechanisms. Then from there, it's probably worth getting a few draws and replacing some of these lower tier draws. So for example, if we go ahead and steal this one, and what we'll do is we'll do something like this and we'll lock it just to be safe but that way we can steal this drawer and go place that down where it needs to go which is slot number four right next to the precision mechanism we can then grab just a few more item pipes here to allow us to finish up the line of course that does require more deployers that's not going to be a problem let's take a whole batch of those this and this make sure those are disconnected here and here and then let's go move the remaining mechanical essence over 
The second tier isn't quite full, but we can now start looking at ways to make this faster. Another change I made between streams, I think, I made this quicker. This didn't have a reinforced component in it previously, which is uh, one of the things that was slowing it down. And uh, I noticed it's not got a lot of iron. Again, that's probably just a simple case. I'm going to put these um, ultimate singularities away, actually. I'm a little worried that I might, uh, I might drop them or delete them or do something stupid with them. So I'm just going to put them in a chest for the time being. We can come back to those when we need them at the end of the episode. But let me take this low retrieval module and let me quickly upgrade that because now this is the limiting factor on how fast we can make Invar, which I think is what is currently bottlenecking us here. For that to work, we do need some more iron. We currently have 34,000 iron, that's more than enough. And then in terms of nickel, uh, we're back up to almost 13,000 nickel as well, which is more than we're going to need, I'm fairly certain. And so we'll do something like that. That should start to send iron and nickel in much larger quantities to this induction smelter. That should make the invar much, much faster. And then hopefully that's going to keep this system going quite nicely. We'll come back and take a look. I don't think the bronze rods are going to be a bottleneck for us. I also don't really think the steel gears are going to be a bottleneck for us, but uh, we'll find out. Uh, right now it's definitely the invar gears. We'll see if that uh, speed makes any difference. Of course, we could put down the water flowing time and bring some high flux augments to make all of this faster if we need to. And that might well be worth doing because we do need at least 1,600 more of these. For now, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that we just did. I'm going to take you, put you there, swap that out like this and this. And then we do need to make sure that that doesn't happen. And for that to not happen, what we might have to do is maybe move this here, take that out, put you back in, and then lock the door before we put it here like that. That is fine. Let's move you out of the way. And then how are we doing over here? We are at 1,376. Yeah, we're definitely going to get to the 1,680 there in no time. That's not going to be a problem whatsoever. Uh, let's also quickly check on the refined radiance. It's taking its time. That's okay. What I think we'll do temporarily then to allow us to get started here is I'll put down a draw here. I'll put down a draw here. And I'll put down a draw here. And basically, I'm going to move a couple of each resource over so that we can make two of these final star shards because two of those is going to allow us to get the creative chemical tank which is then going to allow us to get an infinite amount of antimatter which is of course required in order to make all of the actual final stars that we're going to need to make all of the creative items so let me take maybe a stack of each of these again we only really need two i guess but let's put a stack of advanced mechanical essence in here. Let's put a stack of refined radiance in there. And then finally, let's also go ahead and take a stack of the blue mechanical essence out of here and drop that in over here as well. Now, one thing I did just think about actually is that it might not be a terrible idea to put a downgrade into this drawer right here. I'm going to put a downgrade in there simply because it's quite possible that all of our regular, like we're losing regular mechanical essence. It's quite possible that all of this would get turned into improved mechanical essence when in reality, we actually don't need any more improved mechanical essence outside of what is required to make the advanced mechanical essence. So once this backs up, I want this to start backing up, not this, if that makes sense. But um, either way, let me see what do we actually need to use here. Of course, it's a nether star. So we'll take a nether star out of here. And we'll place that down on this belt just as soon as we get rid of these precision mechanisms. Now, um, one thing I did do is I had to steal the electric motor from that area in order to power this mechanical mixer. And so that does mean we don't have a, uh, an electric motor over there. However, I'm kind of thinking that I might just go ahead and steal this one. I think we're doing pretty well on copper and on iron. And we might in fact have, I was gonna say more than we need, but we'd only have 18 copper there. And so you know what, let me put that back down. I think I was going right about here. It was indeed. I'm gonna move this one instead actually, because I do think that we have more gold and I think it's aluminum than we're going to need. Gold we have 8,350 and aluminum we've got 7,300. So for the time being, we'll steal this electric motor and we'll slap it down right about here, exactly where the last one was and so uh, now what we want to do is actually change the direction of that so if we could set that to you know negative 32 that would be perfect and then we want to disconnect this because we no longer want gold plates going into here and we also want to empty out all of these deployers and i guess at the same time kind of disconnect this pretty pipe system as well because we no longer need these items being requested 
All right, once we've got this cleared, which we now do, we can then go and get rid of this. You're no longer needed. And now let's take another, well, first of all, let's set these to extract to start pumping all these items down into their respective deployers. And then if I throw a nether star on here, that should go along the line and should start getting processed. And here we have an incomplete final star shard. So we are gonna have to do this a lot. And so what I think we want to do is take this incomplete final star shard. It says improved mechanical essence is next, which is maybe what we had. Let me try that again. Wait, why are you just deploying are you in attack mode? Have I changed the mode on this by accident? Let me um, put this back in the drawer and see if I can de-attack mode it. Oh, there we go. So you just right click with the wrench on the bottom and you can change it from attack to use. That is my bad. Uh, that is good to go. Let me drop this shard back on here. That should get deployed and should get deployed again. Perfect. Okay, so this is the first of 20. You'll see we're at seven <laughs> out of 140. Now, I guess all we really have to do here is uh, we can leave this going. This can go all the way to the end. Let me drop that back on there. And that should make its way all the way around. It should keep going. And what we then need to do is, I think once we've got the full final shard, we just need to use the funnel and the filter the same way we did the last time to filter those out into their own draw. So I'll put a draw right about here. We'll get a funnel, one of our brass funnels, and we'll put that right about there. And then here we'll just have a basic filter. Uh, of course, right now this basic filter is blacklisting all of these. We're gonna set it to allow, and for now I'll set it to advanced mechanical essence, just because I know advanced mechanical essence isn't gonna come through. But once we have our actual shard, we can then add that to the filter and that's gonna be collected and everything else should make its way through. So let's see, if we turn this right down, that should make all of this substantially faster and it should allow us to complete the 20 iterations that we need to do here a lot quicker than we were previously. It's still definitely gonna take a little while. 20 of these is still not particularly quick, but this is hopefully somewhat fast. And we have to do this, I think it's 86 times. So we've got to do 86 lots of 20, which is where we get the uh, 1,680 number from. All right, so once it's going around on its own, that's when we can take it. So we want to go ahead and add that to this filter. So if I do this and put this back, now, if this is on here, it should just get sucked up, and it does, by the funnel. I do love the little animation there on the, uh, the funnel as well. That's very nice. So we'll lock that, like so. And then now we can kind of put a couple of nether stars down, because we have a little bit of refined radiance. I say a couple. I think we can do two, because we've only got 44 refined radiance. But if I do one and two, those two should eventually get turned into shards as well. We've got at least 40 of everything else. That is correct. And, of course, once we have at least two final star shards, we can then make this creative chemical tank. For that to work, we do need an ultimate chemical tank, and I do not think that we have that. We don't, although, if we wanted to, I don't know if these retain their inventory. We do have an ultimate chemical tank over here storing ethylene, which is not particularly necessary, but you know what? At the same time, they're not that hard to make, and so I'll go ahead and craft up another ultimate chemical tank. Once we have that ultimate chemical tank, the only two things that we're missing are the two final star shards and the six antimatter. The six antimatter we should have, if I'm not mistaken, we've got three antimatter pellets in here, and over here, our chemical crystallizer also has three antimatter pellets. I am going to temporarily move that chemical crystallizer because we do want to get one millibucket of antimatter that we're going to put into this creative chemical tank. Over here, we have three final star shards and they do not stack which is going to be a real pain in the backside but we do have everything it takes to craft this creative chemical tank real quick i was just checking that we were actually going to get credit for completing the quest which we are you'll have to see it and so now if we do something like this one millibucket of antimatter should get ejected out of the front and in theory i would have thought would fill that up although what I might have to do actually here is I might have to get another chemical tank eject into that then take that chemical tank and place it into the negative slot here there we go so now we have an infinite amount of antimatter so we no longer really need the super critical phase shifter though there's no real reason to turn it off because of the fact that it's burning our polonium and so now we can just do something like this we can of course grab our flux point 
and move that over to here as well. And now if we set the right side of this to output with auto eject on as it is by default, we now have an infinite amount of antimatter and this is just going to continually produce antimatter pellets. We can now do something like that, auto eject on, have that eject the antimatter out to the right hand side. And if we're going to make, I think it's seven final stars, we need 12 antimatter per star and 12 multiplied by seven is 84. So I think we need 84 antimatter, which really shouldn't take too long with this machine running as it currently is. And if we really wanted to, we could of course go and try and find where I left my speed and energy upgrades over here. Those ones will do just fine. I'll take all of you and all of you. And if we drop those into our chemical crystallizer, boom and boom, we should now be making the antimatter substantially faster and it's not gonna take us long at all to get all of the antimatter required for all of those final stars. So let's go back over here because this is kind of our bottleneck now. How are we doing on you? We're at 1,533. We did take 64 away. So we need about 1,625-ish is uh, the number that we're after, which we're getting to very quickly actually. It's coming in faster than I initially anticipated. I can't help but notice that you're not using these end two fluid encapsulators, which is something I'm gonna go ahead and help you with there. Uh, I now understand why those end two fluid encapsulators are not being used. Uh, not quite sure what happened there, but those should now be getting more essence. Let me quickly check though, how much do we have here? We've got 18 plus another 18 is 36, plus another 18 is like 54, plus another 18, plus another 36. So we have close to a hundred more in here. And so I think we can actually stop sending these around. I think we can take this low extraction module out. That's gonna stop the production of improved mechanical essence. And that's gonna allow us to start backing up more on the regular mechanical essence. Speaking of regular mechanical essence, I think we also have some in the system. We do, we've got 90 in the system. We'll drop that in here. And so now we just need to get this number up to 1,650 as well as this number right here. And so what I think we will do is grab some more of the high flux augments. We can, of course, also potentially use our localized time destabilizer here, but um, I think I will steal another one of our watches of flowing time. Of course, we could make more of these, by the way, um, but at the same time, they're not being used over here. So I feel like we might as well just grab them and move them and I'll get some more high flux coils. I'll put them into all of the machines around this regular mechanical essence. So these multi-server presses, these induction smelters, and of course this multi-server press over here and potentially even this sequential fabricator. Although I think basic mechanical essence is not gonna be our bottleneck. Although if we start speeding things up, it could be. So I might have to end up putting high flux augments into all of these. Let's do this. Let's do not that ideally. Uh, oh, no, that was right, but <laughs> it didn't look like it worked. That's fine. Let me break this. I'm just gonna move it to here. And then we'll put you down like so. If I F3B, that should be big enough to cover basically everything. It doesn't cover those guys there. And so you know what? Let me move it one further to the right. Like that. Now let's craft up a ton of high flux augments. All right, that did not take long at all. I made a stack of them just to be safe. But now everything here should be running super fast and it looks like everything is nicely backed up and so now it's just a case of upgrading all of these to high retrieval modules so all of those have been upgraded to the point where they're kind of too fast now i'm going to take this stack limiter out i don't think we need a stack limiter there anymore previously it was there to uh, to stop us wasting too much of our emc but now i don't think that's really going to be too big of a problem this looks like it's doing just fine at producing the basic mechanical essence. Again, we could probably go ahead and put a downgrade in there just to make sure. Now, like it's already past the point where a downgrade would be helpful, but if I take a few out and I put the downgrade in, that's gonna stop it from using too much of our iron, copper, and or aluminum. Uh, we do actually want to have that stack upgrade in there now that I mention it, but we can probably set it to 64 because we don't want this to fill up completely with copper rods. That would be tremendously bad because it would stop the whole system from working. But hopefully this is going to work. The only problem now is that this electric motor does not like being accelerated. So I might just have to shimmy this over once again by one more square. There we go. Now that should be working because now we should be mixing as fast as we possibly can. It might well be worth upgrading some of these low extraction modules even to higher extraction modules to allow us to extract faster. Because again, I think that's just the next bottleneck. And uh, these are actually incredibly easy 
to upgrade. If we put those in there, that's going to move those out a lot faster, and it's just going to make the whole thing much quicker. All right, so I've upgraded to the high extraction modules, and I've crafted up some more high speed modules as well to allow us to extract as fast as is humanly possible, and hopefully basically just keep this base in going all of the time. And so now it really shouldn't take us too long to get up to the 1,680 regular mechanical lessons that we need. While we wait for that, I think I'm gonna come over here and give this a helping hand by manually crafting a little bit of andesite alloy just to get all of this done that little bit faster. Okay, so I figured out why our system has stopped working and that is because we have actually filled this draw up with 32,768 nether quartz, which is a lot of nether quartz. And I don't think we're going to need more than that, but just to be safe, I'm just gonna drop this upgrade in here and kind of kick the can down the road a little bit. That should bring our entire system back online and should definitely increase the speed at which we're making the andesite alloy again. Okay, so the system does now have enough andesite alloy to make all of the refined radiance. It's just slowly working its way through that to get us up to the 1,600 number. Over here, we have worked through the remaining inert advanced mechanical essence. We now have 1666. So we can, of course, take that and go add it to our lineup over here in place of this draw. So let's just go ahead and move you for the time being out of the way down to here. And then let's also do something like that and set you to extract. Nice. So now we're just waiting on the blue mechanical essence and the refined radiance. The blue mechanical essence is coming along very quickly. If we check over here, I think we're close to a thousand. We are at yeah, 908. So well over halfway there. And that shouldn't take too long whatsoever. While we wait for those though, I think it's going to be worth looking at teaching our system how to make the creative storage disk because the creative motor is easy enough. It requires a steam engine, which is an andesite alloy, a golden sheet and a copper block. Incredibly easy, trivial almost. This one here, two brass casing and then a rotation speed controller, one precision mechanism, another brass casing. The electric motor, super easy. The same is kind of true for the creative fluid tank. It requires two buckets of ether gas, which we have, an ultimate fluid tank, which is easy enough. It's the same recipe really as the ultimate chemical tank. And then an enriched essence of darkness. We're already making those automatically. And then the creative energy cube requires a full ultimate energy cube, which we do have over there so we could go ahead grab that one and then use that i think in the creation of this it says oh no never mind it does say do not place the energy cube down in order to charge it so we might have to make another one of those but that's fine we can uh, make a fresh one and then use that to craft up the creative energy cube the rest of this fairly straightforward as i've mentioned a few times now this is the tricky bit and if we're going to make the creative vending upgrade we have to make four of these final power flowers mark 16 which means we do have to make four creative storage disks so for that we need four 16384k storage disks which means we've got to work our way up to the 16384k storage part now the awkward part about this is that there are two mods installed that add the same parts so there is extra storage and there is reborn storage i don't know if it matters which one we use although i can see here that the 16384k storage disk is from extra storage and so i think i'm going to try and stick to the storage parts from extra storage i've had trouble in the past where if you try and make like a 4096k part from the wrong mod and then try and teach your system how to use that to make a different part it doesn't work even if you try and tell the system that it can use any of the parts but either way i think we're going to try and just stick with extra storage which means i need all of these parts going all the way down preferably from extra storage and we need to teach our system obviously once you get to a certain point they're all from refined storage so that's fine uh, we need to teach our system how to make the 1k 4k 16 64 256 1024 4096 and 16384k storage parts we also need to teach our system how to make quartz enriched iron which thankfully is very easy along with basic improved and elite processes so let's do basic Let's find one that does improved and let's find one that uses elite. We need to teach it all of those and we need to teach it how to make silicon along with the processor binding here, which is required to make the raw improved processor. So I think these are all the recipes I need to teach. And so I guess there's no better place to start than at 1K. And I'm just going to work through and teach a couple of these crafters here to make these storage parts and their associated dependencies. Okay, so this is Isaac of the future talking here. I'm recording this after I recorded the rest of the video because I initially tried to automate the creation of the 16384k storage disk using the Pretty Pipe system, but for whatever reason, if I tried to request anything 
above the 16k drive the system just would not do it i don't know if it's some kind of hard limit i don't know if i was trying to request recipes that had too many sub recipes for the mod or what was going on but i spent way too much time trying to get the pretty pipes network to just make a 64k disc which it could not do unless i first requested the four 16k discs and then put those in the system and then requested a 64k disc at that point it could do the craft but it wouldn't do it all at once from the beginning if that makes sense so i then foolishly thought that i could just manually craft all of the parts that were required for the 16 384k drive and after about 10 minutes of attempting to manually smelt a ton of nether quartz i gave up on that and instead decided that we were going to have to set up a very small refined storage system exclusively for the purpose of trying to craft this 16 384k disc and so really the only thing that i did over the course of the next 30 to 40 minutes that you need to know about is i switched the material stoneworks factory from making sand to making glass and i added an item pipe with a pipe upgrade that pulls that glass out of the stoneworks factory and puts it into a drawer because the stoneworks factory wasn't able to eject the glass fast enough especially once we got a watch of flowing time down next to it other than that, I just spent the next 30 to 40 minutes trying and failing to get this 16384K disc automated. And so without further ado, I'm going to pass back off to Isaac of the Pest, who is going to pick up with a refined storage system. All right, so I have crafted some 16K storage parts, but over here, this regular mechanical essence is done. Let's go and move that over to the wall, because I kind of want to get this going. So it is going to take a little while to do you know, 1,680 circulations of, of this belt system here. So let's do this, and then let's go and grab the refined radiance, which I think is also done. We're at 1,533, and we did take a stack away earlier. So I think we're pretty close. I will put another draw there just to keep it going in case we don't quite have enough. We might be like, you know, 30 or 40 shy of what we need. Uh, and of course, this is not the right place, Isaac. This needs to go over... Here, that's my bad. Uh, refined Radiance wants to go at the front, so that's going to go right about there. And then the regular essence is going to go right about there. Let's set all of you to extract and extract. I don't think they're going to need pipe upgrades. And over here, we've got 13 more nether stars for a total of 72, which is still not quite enough, but should be potentially fine. So I'll get that going. That's going to start making us all of our shards. Now, this process here of manually crafting them is also incredibly tedious <laughs> and especially if we're going to craft four of them like all of this is to craft one of these creative storage discs we need four of them and so my challenge for this pack was to try and beat it without using refined storage but I think we're going to have to do it. I think we're going to have to set up a very small refined storage system to auto craft this for us because the Pretty Vibes network just, just can't do it uh, by the looks of it. It's just, it, it, it just can't. And so I think what we're going to do is we're going to get a crafter from refined storage, this guy here, uh, which is not the iron crafter. The basic crafter is required first. Uh, this does require some construction and destruction calls, but that is fine. We've got basically all of the uh, components from refined storage ready to go. And so setting up a little basic system shouldn't be too difficult we do need a bunch of machine casing but that's fine we can craft up as much of that as we like let's get a crafter we're going to upgrade that to an iron crafter uh, which does require a chest and as per usual uh, our system never has any chests available to it but that is a fixable problem let's take a couple of chests and then let's make the iron crafter can we make a gold crafter we can but we need some neural processes which require uh, a bunch of things which we might actually have Almost, we need some more crafting tables. That's fine, we'll make some of those. And we need some more of the raw advanced processes, which is also fine, we'll make a ton of those. And then the diamond and the netherite crafter, which is the fastest crafter, they also require the neural processes here. So can we get six of these? We can. Can we then smelt six of these? The answer to that is definitely. I actually didn't know there was a quest that we'd not completed uh, in regards to the crafter, but that's completely fine. Let's do this that gets us a gold crafter we'll then go here get a diamond crafter and we'll go one step further and ideally get a netherite crafter we might have to get some more netherite scrap for that because i think that uh yeah we don't have enough netherite scrap available but we do have the debris we can throw the debris into the smelter and that should get us all of the netherite scrap that we need in order to make the netherite blocks here and by that i mean it's gonna almost get us all that we need we actually do need to do one more 
snack here. Not quite a snack, but a snack we might as well do. We are down at 54 million EMC, which is uh, getting dangerously close to to zero. But uh, let's do one more of those, and then let's upgrade this to a netherite crafter. So, what I am going to do here is I'm going to get a very, very basic refined storage system. For that, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need a pattern grid, which is this one. Uh, the pattern grid does require a regular grid, and we are going to need a few regular grids, so I'll make a couple of those. And uh, the pattern grid should be fairly straightforward. It is this recipe right here. It does require a pattern. The pattern is just quartz enriched iron, glass, and a redstone. And the reason I'm doing this is just that I think it's going to be faster than, than trying to manually craft them or trying to fix the Pretty Pipes network to craft them. This is going to allow us to teach our refined storage system how to craft things. We are going to need a lot more of those patterns. So I'm just going to request a bunch of them. We'll do something like that. We do need a controller to make this work. The controller does require more quartz enriched iron, which is fine. And it also requires another advanced mechanical essence or improved even mechanical essence. This one right here, which we are completely out of, but we do have extra over at the back of the base. This is chugging along quite nicely. We are at still just one, which means none of them have managed to make a full um, circle around yet, but that's fine. Let's do that. And we should connect that to power. There is our advancement for refined storage complete. We'll put that down right about there. Do we have a flux point remaining? We don't, but we can go ahead and request one. And then I don't actually know if we need like a regular grid from refined storage. I know that we do need an external storage. This one right here. This is what is going to allow us to connect up our storage door system to the refined storage network. So we're going to put that right here and then using refined storage cable we're just going to connect that up to the controller which automatically connects it to the pattern grid and to the netherite crafter once the flux point is ready we can do something like that that's going to bring hopefully all of this online it does indeed and so now we just need to go through and teach it how to make these recipes and it should all be pretty straightforward i think we are definitely going to need a furnace but I, uh, I don't think our system is doing much in the way of smelting now, so I might just go and steal this furnace and take it downstairs. We're going to need another crafter for this, but that's fine. I think we can make another netherite crafter fairly easily. This one here is going to be for all of the regular non-smelting recipes, and I'm pretty sure that this craft that we're doing is essentially all, and we might as well just teach the system how to make the uh, 16384K disc uh, while we're at it here, but um, this craft is basically all regular crafting recipes and smelting recipes. So we'll go through the line, encoding a pattern in here. So we just encoded the pattern for the 16384K disk. Uh, now we're going to do it for the storage part. Again, uh, we're going to try and make sure that it's all the same mod. We'll try and do extra storage all the way down. And so we're just going to go from 16384. We'll unbookmark that. We'll do 4096. That is reborn storage. If I switch it to extra storage, it doesn't change that, which is unfortunate. I think you've got to kind of time it right with the shift click. You do if you want to get the right parts there, but now we're just going to keep going down the encode list and encoding all these patterns. Okay, so I've made another netherite crafter. We're going to put that directly on top of the advanced smelting factory, pointing down like this, making sure that the advanced smelting factory is set to input from the top. We'll make it output to the bank, and then we will... I've put power at the bank, but that's fine. We can always move this universal cable. In fact, we'll do something like this to get power down there, and then what we'll do is we'll get an importer and we'll put that importer on the back. So the importer's going on the back. The advanced importer might be a good idea, though. I've not played with the advanced importer, but I believe it allows us to uh, to import a lot faster. So we'll put an advanced importer right about here, and we'll put a cable down right about there. And so in here, we're just going to import everything that is smelted. And so essentially what we can do now is we can teach our system, for example, how to smelt raw basic processes into basic processes. Uh, we just want to go ahead and click encode, and then we can put that pattern in to the crafter that's above the smelting factory and now if we request a basic processor it's going to make the raw basic processor here send it through to the smelting factory and then the final product will be imported back around and into our storage drawer so we'll do a few more of these here just to get those taken care of we then of course want to do a nether quartz we'll do that as well drop you in there and i think that's kind of everything but uh let's see if we try 16 to 84 k if i request one of these it says we're missing gold, we're missing iron, we're missing quartz enriched iron, and we're missing glass. So did I teach it quartz enriched iron? I didn't. That makes a tremendous amount of sense, and that is fine. We can teach it very quickly how to make quartz enriched iron, like so. Once we've taught it how to make quartz enriched iron, the amount of 
stuff we need is going to go up. So next up on the agenda is potentially teaching it how to make glass, although I think the easiest solution, of course, is going to be to just get an upgrade here, put that in like so, and that's going to make this faster and should get us up to the amount of glass that we need. We need a lot of glass, is the, uh, the long and short of it. Uh, we're going to need uh, another 4,000 glass, but hopefully that shouldn't take too long. And then it says we're missing 4,000 iron, and we're missing 708 gold. But that's because it thinks it doesn't have any iron. And I think that's basically due to the fact that these over here are not connected to the same storage drawer system. That is fine, though, because it basically means that we can, uh, I guess, dump all these for one, because that's going to make it a lot faster to craft. But uh, if we just take the required iron out of here and go ahead and place that required iron into the nearby storage door, which is this one right here, that should then give this refined storage system access to that iron. So let's try that again. I, don't, I know we didn't move enough, but I just want to make sure it, it was actually working, and it was. So we need to move 3,000 more iron over and 654 gold over. We, we do have those, but that's basically all of our iron and an awful lot of our gold. Okay, so it's basically just glass now. It does need some more iron, but the iron keeps getting taken from here by the Pretty Pipes Network just because it's closer, I think. So what I'm going to do is I am going to steal this from up here, and we're going to move this downstairs through that handily created hole to here, like this. And that's going to make this much faster, and then we can go ahead and do something like this to try and make that quicker. And then it might definitely be worth getting a stack upgrade, which is this guy. Uh, this is made with speed upgrades, which are pretty straightforward. Those are made with upgrade bases. Those also seem fairly straightforward. Give me a bunch of those. And I think what we'll do is we'll make at least a couple of speed upgrades here and at least one stack upgrade as well. That's going to allow us to speed up the extraction. I think we'll do seven. That's going to allow us to speed up the extraction with the, uh, the smart importer. So we'll do this and we'll do this. The stack upgrade allows the importer to pull a stack of items at a time and the speed upgrades just allow it to pull stacks faster. So now if we do this, you'll see that they get pulled basically instantly into the system and we can take all of this sand and drop it all into this smelting factory and it's going to very, very quickly cause a lot of lag on the world, but it is then going to start pulling all of that glass around into the system, which is exactly what we want. And so now, I think finally, we're getting there. We're very close. Let me do a little bit more in the way of sand here. And let's, of course, go and steal a little bit more iron, although we are very, very low on iron now. I really thought we were going to have way more than we needed, not kind of just enough to get us to the uh, to the finish line. But let's try this again. We're going to drop all that iron in there. And then 16384K, start and start. Okay, so that should just start crafting. We might want to unlock some of these drawers to try and give it space to put that finished product because it's doing all the crafting and it kind of holds it all internally, but I don't actually know where it's going to try and put it once everything is said and done because we've not got like a place for it to go, which is quite bad. If I unlock some of these, they're just going to get filled up with random garbage, right? So temporarily, I'm going to go ahead and break this pipe here just so that more garbage doesn't get filled in. And I'm kind of just hoping that one of these drawers is sufficient for the refined storage system. I'm hoping the refined storage system is able to just dump the 16384K disk into one of these drawers when it's done. And you know what? I'm going to unlock a couple more here just to be on the safe side. And there are quite a few things. I guess I guess temporarily we could even just turn this off as well if we uh, just disconnect this real quick. That should stop basically everything from working apart from the refined storage system here. So I'll leave that doing its thing and we'll come back to that in a second. The refined storage system isn't using the ender chest, so that should be fine. Over here, how are things going? The answer is kind of fine. Oh, I think we just filled up the drawer, eh? I, um, I always forget that this has a limit, and that limit is 32 stacks, so that's 32 items. So we need to do this to allow the rest of them to get dropped in, and then that should, once they all clear through... I was going to say keep going, but I guess we're actually done. It's done all of the, all of the ones that were there. So how are we doing on Nether Stars? Over here, we've got seven more, which is good. Let's drop those down on here. That's going to take us up to about 80. We did already make two, and I think 86 was the number we needed. So we might just need four more nether stars, potentially, which really shouldn't take too much longer. This is still going. We could try getting a crafting monitor, which is probably something I should have made ahead of time, just because it is... I don't think we have any of this. Oh, we do have some of this. Uh, just because it's going to show us kind of what's going on. 
at the uh, at the current moment in time. So if we do oil clump and we put you there, let's take some of those. Of course, we don't have any string, Isaac. That'd be too easy. Uh, let's make a bunch of string. Let's get rid of the string like this with the oil clump. Then give me a few of these and then give me ideally two of these, but I have a feeling we have no silicon. Yeah, of course we don't. That'd be also too easy. Uh, our furnace is kind of busy. And then, you know what? Let's just get a regular furnace. It's not going to be fast and it's not going to be good. But if we get some coal, we can go back to basics here, chat, and we can do this and this. That's going to smelt up nice and fast thanks to the watch of flowing time. And that should give us a crafting monitor, which should kind of give us an idea as to whereabouts in the process our craft currently is. So if we do this, we can see what's going on with our craft. So it's still got 9,000 silicon to go here. I think we can potentially make this faster. One thing we probably should have done before we started is teach the system that 64 nether quartz equals 64 silicon. I think that would have made life a lot easier. In fact, you know what? I think we can hit cancel here because it's made all of the stuff that it's already started to make, but it's, it's stored those in the system. So we didn't lose anything there, I don't think. If I were to try again, 16384K and start. Yeah, we've still got everything. So real quick, I'm just going to change this recipe here because I think this is slowing us down massively. So if you put a recipe in the bottom, it will show you that recipe. And then we can just take a stack of nether quartz, uh, smelt that into a stack of silicon, and then just say one stack of nether quartz equals one stack of silicon in code. And then now if we put that back in here and we try that again, if we go 16384k and we say start and start, that should, yeah, send a ton of silicon a lot faster and hopefully it's going to start burning through that 9,000. Yeah, look at that. The number is going down so much faster now than it was previously. And this is basically all that it has left to do. Once it's smelted the 9,000 silicon, then it should just be a case of putting all of the smaller parts together, which the system should be able to do incredibly quickly. And then I'm hoping that it just dumps the final product out into one of these drawers. While we wait for that, uh, we are going to need a ton more iron. Now that I think about it, if we're going to get this... Uh, happening three times this is one of three so i should probably do something like this and move yet more of our high flux coils along with our speed and energy upgrades over to iron so we can get just a whole lot more of it okay we're getting very close to the end it's done with the silicon so now it should just be smelting all of the processes again we could have done the same thing here and maybe in hindsight should have done the same thing here where we teach the system to craft 64 of these at a time so we have it send 64 of the uh, raw basic processes all at once and have those all turned into actual basic processes because uh, it's just slow otherwise like it makes them fast enough it's just too slow at smelting them but that's gonna get there it's gonna get there in just a second and at that point i think we're basically good to go over here we've got the 73 final stars we should still be getting nether stars albeit by the looks of it somewhat slowly for the actual final stars here i think we have most of what it takes let me take I was going to say most of these, but we can't take those because they don't stack. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the elite crafting table or the ultimate crafting table away from here. And let's grab those ultimate singularities. Those are here. And let's take these all the way over. And I'm just going to put the ultimate crafting table down probably right about here. So this is... Oh, this is not even an ultimate crafting recipe. I completely forgot. This is a mechanical crafting recipe, of course. So... We need to get 45 mechanical crafters in order to make this happen. That should be fine. We should still have a ton of electron tubes over here that we can tap into. We totally do. And then the rest of that craft should be fairly straightforward. Let me once again check up on this, though. It looks like it is done. And there it is. We have one 16384K storage disk. And now, as soon as we can, I guess, as soon as we get... The final star we can then fairly easily upgrade that to a creative storage disk again we need three more of these which means we need 16,000 iron 9,000 redstone of all things 12,000 glass and 3,000 gold so the glass is coming in over here that's still being made iron is also coming in and i think quite fast actually yeah we're back up to 3,000 iron uh, gold is over here we probably actually have the gold we do indeed and then redstone should also be coming in just as soon as i replace down the logistical transporter that is bringing the redstone in, which is this one right here. But uh, real quick, let me see if I can't craft up 45 mechanical crafters. Okay, so there is a stack of mechanical crafters. I ended up making a lot more 
of all of this than we actually needed, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make this happen. So the recipe here is like a seven by seven square with the edges cut out. So we're doing one, two, three, four, five, like that, not this guy here. And then we're doing another one, two, three, four, five on top of that, but with one either side like this. If we then grab our wand, can we go higher? We can. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then for the seventh one, it's just one, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, I think that's correct. So then let's see. We need the ultimate singularity in the middle. We need that surrounded by eight analysis fuel blocks. So eight analysis fuel we've got, or the ability to get at least because it's EMCable. Let's do this, and then we need loads of these. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, like that. And then we need dark matter around that, antimatter kind of diagonally, and then final star shards in the corners. So dark matter, again, super easy. It is EMCable. That's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Not quite sure what the deal is there. I feel like I had antimatter a while ago, but uh, that's fine. And then we need antimatter, and that's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we just need our three, six, nine, twelve shards, which is going to take up twelve inventory slots, but that is fine. I think we have the space for it. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That is perfect. Uh, oh, no, not quite perfect. Uh, we don't need the brass here. We can get rid of that. We got more brass if we need it. And then let's fill this in. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It looks like I might have pulled 13 out by accident there, but that is completely fine as well. Let me go see over here. We are kind of tearing the base out a little bit. Um, let me get rid of this guy right here, this uh, electric motion. By get rid of, I of course mean steal. We're going to steal that. We're going to steal this, and we're going to grab a regular old chest, which you know what? I'm going to again go back to uh, basics here. Let's put our crafting table down like so, and let's make just a regular old Minecraft chest. And we'll put that down. Let's say, I'm going to put it down here, and then I'm going to redirect some of the wall. So we'll grab a wrench, and I'm just going to change this to point this way, and we'll have all the ones at the bottom point up, like that, and then we'll just have all of these point along like this, to this point here. And that should just work. All of these are gonna come down, they're all gonna get to this line, they're all gonna go across, all these are gonna come up. I think everything there looks okay. Let me grab a cogwheel. Let's put that cogwheel down like this. I do have a feeling here, a sneaking suspicion, that we're gonna have to do some down gear shifting, because I think just by default, this is not gonna be good enough. I think we're gonna be over stressed. Yeah, we are massively overstressed, which is kind of to be expected with this many uh, mechanical crafters, especially because we were overstressed with this many mechanical crafters over here. And so uh, let's, well, normally we would do the small cogwheel, big cogwheel system that we were doing before, but we do have precision mechanisms available. And so at this point, we might as well go with a rotation speed controller because it's very easy to make once you have the precision mechanisms on mass. And with this guy, what we can do is we can go ahead and I think place this down in the ground here. So we want to have this down, I think like that. And then we want a big cogwheel. That big cogwheel is going to go in like this. Here you can set the speed. So you can set it really low. You can set it really high. We're going to set ours fairly low. And then you just want your electric motor to go down here, so going into the rotation speed controller, again, ideally facing the right way, like that. So let's do something like this. That's still overstressed, but that's probably fine. Let me clear out a bit more space here. Uh, right now, this is set to 32. I don't think it matters what that's set to. If I slow this down, so this works. I actually don't know what is going to be considered too high. Like, 8 is working, but of course it's not very fast. I can crank that up to 256, but that's not really going to change anything. If we check that to 12, 
16. 32? That seems to be working. Everything seems to be moving, which is good. So I guess that is good enough. Let me set this to like priority a thousand so that hopefully it gets power. And then that is working. It should all come together to form our first final star. Moment of truth. Look at that. It totally worked. Nice. Okay, so we just need to do that. A couple more times is the answer. We need to do it six more times to get the seven stars required to make the final power flower. The first thing I should do before I forget is we should teach our system this uh, because it does have an EMC value of 100 billion. So if we do this, um, that is now learned. If I drop it in, look at that, we're up to 100 billion, which is, is fantastic, but we do need to kind of take it out right away again. So the uh, excitement there was short lived. But uh, basically what I need to do now is a few things. First things first, I want to see if we can actually get the other three 16384K discs made. So we're still missing 9,000 redstone, eh? Uh, 16,000 iron, I think we're probably getting close to. Not quite, eh? 4,000. <laughs> it's coming in slower than I was anticipating. I'll look into that in just a second. But redstone is also coming in slower than I would like. Where are we making redstone? We're making it here. This kind of makes sense. I do have a pedestal here that we were using before to speed up the rate at which we were producing emeralds. And so, you know what? Let me make another watch of flowing time here. Again, not quite sure why I only just got the advancement for that because we made the uh, watches of flowing time last episode, but uh, we'll disconnect this and then we'll take you off the pedestal, ideally and we'll put the Watcher Flowing Time back on the pedestal, and then we'll do that, and hopefully that's going to make this much, much faster. And while we're at it, we might as well go and take one of the installers that we already have available to us and do something like this, just to make that even quicker on the redstone production front. So hopefully the redstone's going to come in faster. It looks over here like the electrolytic separator is the bottleneck. This one right at the back, because uh, you'll see there's just not enough oxygen being sent into here. So if I do this... That seems to help that go a little bit faster. And then you could also maybe do with some speed upgrades as well. But then you start to burn through the oxygen faster again, which is uh, is kind of the whole problem, which is uh, is not ideal. So we can take you out and we can make you faster again. And then maybe that's going to work. Maybe that's going to get us the iron we need nice and quickly. We'll, we'll leave that doing its thing. Uh, while we wait for that, I'm going to go ahead and craft up, at the very least, six more of these final stars. Okay, so we have good news and bad news. The bad news is that we didn't have enough final star shards to make all of the final stars that we needed to get the final power flower. The good news is that we are still getting nether stars. I went and I turned the uh, ender chest back on, which is why we weren't getting them. I turned that off to make the 16 to 84k drive. The bad news again, though, is that we are <laughs> almost completely out of EMC here. And it looks like, did I miscalculate here? I must have miscalculated because we don't have enough nitro crystals of all things. Hold up, though. Hold on. Let me let me check my... Is my whole arithmetic wrong? Because we got six of those here. And I don't think I have any of the final stars in the system. We're actually at zero <laughs> EMC. We need one more. One more final star gets us the, the power flower. Because we have everything else. We just need seven stars. So, if we needed seven stars, that means that we needed three, six, nine, twelve, multiplied by seven, which is 84. 84 multiplied by 20 should be 1,680. So we should have had exactly the right amount of nitro crystals, and so unless... Unless something has gone very wrong here, which is quite possible it has. It's possible that we've managed to um, to mess this up somehow. Because we also don't really have enough refined radiance either to make this happen. We're almost out of refined radiance. I just bought another 40 over, which is really not good. We're so close. We have eight shards and we need 12. And I think the four are on here. We just need to get them over the finish line with zero... EMC, which is not ideal. Now, we do have, I think... Never mind, I was gonna say we've got excess advanced mechanical essence. Oh, no. It is all 
falling apart at the seams here. This is not good. Okay, so in terms of nitro crystals, I think we can make another batch of nitro crystals. For that, we are going to need more blazing crystals, which means we need more blaze powder. But we've got a load of blaze powder, and that's fine. And power is something that's also fine. The only thing we don't have is um, <laughs> is EMC. So let's get a chest. Let's put that chest down over here. And then let's swap you out. And uh, for the time being, we can leave all these as they are. Um, I think it's 112. We just want to say four of you. That's going to start making the blazing crystals again. And we can start using our nether stars to make more nitro crystals. So nitro crystals are fine. Refined radiance could be a problem. Although I don't think it should be. Because we should be able to just drop in the bits that it needs. Um, I do notice that this is spinning from nowhere. Like, there's no reason that this should be spinning. Because the electric motor that powers all of these is over here, and there's no motor for this. I think that's a visual glitch. And that's why that's not actually doing anything. It's because there's no, um, there's no actual, uh, creative energy there for it to use. Which is fine. Uh, let's do this. And let's get a few of these going. And then let's put all of these in here with you and you. And hopefully that's going to make us a batch of nitro crystals somewhat quickly. Uh, we should still be getting more nether stars in. They are coming in over here, which is good to see. Yeah, we've got six more, which is fantastic. And so we can make as many nitro crystals as we need, which is good. Let's go ahead and get rid of you so that we can grab another cogwheel and put that cogwheel over here. That's gonna bring that back online. That's gonna start making more refined radiance because we're, we're gonna need it. Let's put a few more nether stars in there just in case. Let's take you over here. I'm not quite sure how much more of all of this we need. The nitro crystals are currently the only thing standing in our way. Although it's quite possible that we run out of refined radiance before we get the 12 shards that we need because each one of them has got to go through so many times. It's actual madness. Okay, so we've managed to get to 11 final star shards. We have 20 nitro crystals. We have, thankfully, 20 advanced mechanical essence. That one was going to be uh, awkward. We need 15 refined radiance. Do we have we're at 12? What are we missing? We're missing uh, obsidian powder, which we do have. It's on its way, I think. It's just uh, taking, a, taking the long route, maybe. Uh, let me try that. There we go. Okay, we need three more refined radiance. I think we might be there. I think it might <laughs> all actually come together. There's 14. There's 15. Let's take all of those. And I think we're good. I think despite the fact that we have zero EMC, we should be fine. Let's put you in. Let's drop one nether star and only one nether star down. And let's watch that cycle 20 times to get our 12th shard. That 12th shard should be all that we need to get the 7th final star. And once we have the 7th final star, we should then be able to get the uh, Power Flower, which should give us infinite EMC. And so it shouldn't matter that we have 0 EMC currently. All of that is going to become irrelevant when we start making trillions of EMC per second. Hey, alright, I think... That, that is it. I think those are our 12. I might have dropped some, maybe? I don't recall dropping any, but I, I'm just trying to figure out how I... how we miscalculated so badly, because uh, the calculations add up, but uh, for some reason, we didn't have enough nitro crystals or refined radiance uh, to make it happen, and the nitro crystals were kind of the one thing that I was certain on. We had exactly 1,680 of those nitro crystals, but either way, it no longer matters, because this here should be our seventh and ideally final final star that we need we've taught our system our transmutation tablet how to make them uh, if you're wondering where all of our emc went um our iron i think production ate that up we do have ten thousand iron uh, that's going down slowly that's fine we should be able to get the final six thousand that we need to make the remaining creative discs but we have seven final stars so let's take a look here and see what we can do. So unbookmark a lot of this. The creative storage disk should be doable. We need two controllers. The two controllers should be pretty straightforward. Let's go and take two of you. Fantastic. And then we should also 
have. I really don't want to lose these final stars. We have 700 billion EMC in our inventory, but uh, we need to not waste it. Uh, can I get... some advanced processes, please? And start? I should start making those very quickly. And then at that point, we should just be able to grab them out of here. So we should just be able to do that. We can. One and two. Fantastic. And then um, I did go ahead and lock that draw there to the 16384K disk. So that if we want to make more, uh, there's a place for it to go. Boom. Creative storage disk is done. Final stars are done. Final shards are done. We'll come back to the creative energy cube. That's going to be the hardest one, I think. Uh, in terms of the steam engine, this is pretty straightforward. The rotation speed controller. We have one, but we might as well make another one because they're very easy to make. And boom. It's done. We're going to unbookmark the creative motor. The creative chemical tank we have, and I don't know if we can use the one that we have. I'm going to assume, and, and by assume I mean hope, <laughs> that we can. Um, let me get rid of all these. Let's do one, two, three. We need two buckets of ether gas, which we should have over in this dissolution chamber. We do. And so in terms of making the creative tank, we do need an ultimate fluid tank first. That is fine. There is a slight possibility that we might have to have an empty creative chemical tank, which I think we might be able to do, but um, let's, first of all, go ahead and type in alloy into here, and I would like four of the basic, four of the reinforced, and four of the atomic as well. We also need the same for the energy cube, actually, so I'm going to request another four of each here. Once we've got at least four of each, and we've got the, the eight that we need, which is fantastic, we can then go and we can start with the basic tank, which doesn't require any alloys. We can upgrade that to the advanced tank, which is, you guessed it, the advanced alloys, then the elite tank, uh, then the ultimate tank, and then we should have what it takes to make the creative tank, I think. Oh, no, we need some enriched essence of darkness. That is fine, because I believe we have an enrichment chamber up here that is dedicated to that. We do. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so, boom. Creative fluid tank is done. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. Then we need to get a basic energy cube, which we might have the parts to make. We do. We need to upgrade that to an advanced energy cube, which we can do. Then to an elite energy cube, which we can do. Then to an ultimate energy cube, which we can do. And then now, according to the quest here, it says, note, do not place the ultimate energy cube down in order to charge it. Charge it either wirelessly or by putting it in as an item into any charging machine. Placing it down will make you the owner and not recognize it for the crafting recipe. Okay, so one thing we can probably do is put it into our other cube. I think if I put it in here, it's gonna start pulling energy from that cube into this cube and we just need to fill that up and then Ideally, from there, we could also just pick up this creative chemical tank, because I don't think we're going to need more than 2048 antimatter. The fact that it is full could be a problem. All right, this energy cube is basically full. Any second now, it should take over to 102.4 million FE, which I'm hopeful is going to allow us to craft up the creative energy cube. Uh, we do need a few more things here, but that is fine. Let's quickly request that our system here make for us a flux point. And I was going to say also a flux plug as well, but I guess our system doesn't know how to make the flux plug, which makes sense because we don't really need that many flux plugs. I assume we don't have what it takes. We don't. That would have been far too easy. Can I get maybe like 10? Not basic fluid tanks, I wanted 10 flux cores, there we go. We'll try the 10 flux cores, the flux point we have. Let's go and grab another essence of darkness out of here. Put the rest back, that's fine. And then we just need to manually craft up a flux plug using what we have. And you know what, I'll go steal a regular mechanical essence just because I think that recipe might be the easier one. So we'll do this, and we've got two of those now, fantastic, we'll do this, that's that done, and then we'll do this and click done. There we go, we have the creative energy cube, so now the question is just whether or not this is gonna work with the uh, the chemical tank, which it might, let me see. So I'll bookmark this, we'll unbookmark you, and we'll unbookmark you. So we need the creative energy cube, we need the creative motor, which I think was there, the tank, the disc, I think the disc might have gone there actually. Uh, we can move these around in a second, that's fine. So the tank actually goes there, this goes here. Uh, that's correct, these go here, 
here, and here with this guy here. Look at that. Final power flower, Mark 16. We have zero EMC, but we now have trillions of EMC coming in every second. All of our systems should kick back into gear. We should start to see iron being made once again. It is. Look at that. It's chugging away. Iron is being made nice and quickly. It's coming in nice and fast. And so now that we've done that, we just need to do that three more times. <laughs> so the let's go to the vending upgrade. So we'll get rid of you and we'll type in vending upgrade. The vending upgrade here is what we need next. Get rid of you. We need an upgrade template, which is easy enough. Done. We then need a bunch of more final stars, but remember now we can go to our transmutation template and we can just take these final stars out. Like we can take as many of these as we like out and just store them wherever we want because of the fact that they're just 100 billion EMC and we're making more than that incredibly quickly. So that's fine. We just need to make four more of everything that we just made and the chemical tank is what i didn't take into consideration oh that's gonna be painful i didn't think about the fact that i'm gonna need three more chemical tanks the rest of these are easy enough because none of these require any more shards but if i'm gonna make three more chemical tank that means i need six more final star shards which means that i need 120 more of every single one of these which should be fine it's just a little, a little tedious so um the essence here we have 120 of we got 120 of you we got 120 of you we got 120 of you so it's just nitro crystals refined radiance and advanced mechanical essence so we need to get more of all of those let me go and put the mechanical essence draw back down you're gonna go right about there none of these have any backed up which is unfortunate um we just have to work our way back down the line because you here this is the problem right uh that has backed up nicely so yeah we need to go get another draw for the blue and we can we can help this along a little bit if we take some of the blue out of here because we only need 120 and we put these in we can then go and put that down back where it was before and that should begin making the advanced mechanical essence again so i'll put you down there everything else should already be good to go one thing we are going to have to do is put down the mechanical mixer again which annoyingly is going to turn off so let me get rid of this cogwheel here because otherwise it's going to be overstressed so over here we're going to replace this down like that that's going to start making more blue that blue should get extracted around into here we do need a mixer there as well and this is what i get for tearing all this down before I am 100% certain that we have everything that we need. So let's do this. Um, it looks like you're supposed to have a low extraction module, which makes a tremendous amount of sense. Let's do that. Let's go start pulling those over into here. Let's go start making more of these guys. And then that should get sent around to here and should start doing the thing. Over here, this motor is no longer needed here. And so we should be able to take that and this and once again, reapply that over here so if i do like this and this that should bring all of these back online we can crank that as high as we want and that's going to start making the refined radiance once again so now we're making the refined radiance and the advanced mechanical essence over here we need six nether stars for the production of the final shards that we need and then the rest of these for now we can just drop in here and that's going to make us some more nitro crystals again 120 is the number that we are after we're also after sixteen thousand iron we're at twelve thousand eight hundred so we're pretty close i assume we're there on redstone we're definitely there on glass i think we have like forty thousand glass now yeah thirty five thousand so let's see here sixteen to eighty four k can i get three of these yes once we have sixteen thousand iron all right okay this is fine a little tedious but we do now have 7.58 quadrillion EMC and the rest of this should be working. Okay, so it took a little bit longer than I was anticipating, but I think we have everything. Round here, I replaced down the watcher flowing time. We've got 140 advanced mechanical essence. Again, 
120 is the number that we're after. I did find a stack of advanced mechanical lessons in the system. I must have put that there earlier. And I also took uh, a couple more of these improved mechanical lessons out of here to speed this along, but we didn't really need it. It was doing fine on its own. Anyway, uh, we've got the refined radiance. We'll put that in here as well. That's got 100 and 20 now between these two and then here we are after the nitro crystals and uh, last i checked i believe just based on the nether stars that i put in earlier uh, that we are on 144 yes so it's at the top there perfect so we'll take those uh, i'll take the nether stars we probably have more nether stars in over here now as well we do indeed and let's put all the nitro crystals in there and we need specifically no more no less than six of these final star shards we should be able to do that. We should have 120 of everything here. That should be enough to get six more shards, which should be enough to get us three more of the creative chemical tanks. Over here, how are we doing on iron? We have got 20,000. It goes to show how long it took me to get that done. We've got 20,000 iron. That's perfect. I'm going to take that iron. I'm going to put it right about here. We're then going to go ahead. We're going to take the gold as well. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to temporarily move it over so that our refined storage system has access to it put it there and then now in here if we once again 16384 k if i click start it's ready to go as i mentioned earlier i'm going to quickly change these three recipes we're just going to tweak this to more so if you just click on it 64 set encode it's a lot nicer you don't have to actually have 64 to be able to set it to 64 but we're just going to set all of these to 64 like so and that should just make it that little bit faster when it comes to smelting and i'm going to request these one at a time because again i'm a little concerned about where they're going to go otherwise but we'll hit start and that should just begin doing it it should start once again smelting all of the silicon to make all of the stuff that we need uh, are we out of space for silicon we're not out of space for silicon um i guess we're just doing it like too fast okay so it looks to be working now all I did was I turned off this watch of flowing time down here. I think having them both on was, I think, just making the advanced smelting factory too fast, or it was messing with the advanced importer, one of the two. But now, with just the one watch of flowing time, it is pulling them in fast enough. And the number's going down slowly, but surely. Very, very slowly, but surely. And so now, I'm just going to do this, I guess, three times until we have three 16384K drives. We have the stuff to do it it's just a case of waiting a couple of minutes for it to actually put it together and while i wait for all of that to come together we can check over here i assume incorrectly how oh no that's just how i did this to extract okay i was i was very worried for a second there this is completely fine this is not gonna be a problem um but basically while i wait for that to do its thing i am gonna go ahead and make three more creative energy cubes three more creative motors three more creative fluid tanks, and then once we have all of the shards, we can also make three more creative chemical tanks, and of course, I'll make the stuff for three more creative storage disks, and I'll be back when we have those things. All right, again, quite a while later, but thankfully, the refined storage system does store the 16 384K disk when there is nowhere to put it, and so all we have to do is make space for it. So if I do this, there it is. Look at that. Boom. So now... I think we have everything we need. I filled up three ultimate energy cubes. I've got three ultimate fluid tanks. I've got the steam engines and rotational speed controllers for the creative motor. And so we could take these six final star shards. And I did also request, and I'm assuming that they've made their way down to the crafting terminal by now, but I requested the alloys for the chemical tanks. They have indeed. And so now we should be able to run through this chain here. We need one, two, three of these. We're gonna upgrade each one of those to the next tier, which is advanced. And then we're gonna go, you guessed it, from advanced to elite and elite to ultimate. And we should have all of the items required. There is elite and one, two, three. There is ultimate. And then we should also have what it takes if we grab some antimatter out of our antimatter drawer over here to make three creative chemical tanks one two three we do nice okay i'm gonna put these in here for the time being because those are done next up let's do the creative fluid tanks for that i am gonna need a few more 
buckets and we are a little low on iron now that we've just spent the 16,000 that we had uh, but can I get six buckets and can I take one two three four five six buckets of ether gas how much did we have uh, just a little bit more we had about seven buckets nice I believe it is still coming in though so uh, that is all good and then over here uh, we do need some more of that essence of darkness but as per usual we can steal that from over here and then we should be able to go one two and three nice okay so the three creative fluid tanks are also done now uh, let's go ahead and do the creative motors uh, these do of course require the final stars but we'll do one two three uh, obviously i don't need to take the final stars out here because our system has access to them they're right there uh, that's fine we'll put you there and then we'll take that off we'll take you off we'll take you off as far as the creative storage disc goes um, i do need some more improved mechanical essence which you know what <laughs> i might not have let me check how are we doing over here we are fresh out of improved mechanical essence over here do we have a tiny morsel a scrap of essence over here the answer to that question would appear to be a big fat no and that's because we've been making more advanced mechanical essence which is not really what i want to do so let me take this off of the export list real quick and then let's see if we can't get two more improved mechanical license i think we just need some more earth charges to make that happen and i think we need like two more earth charges there's five that should get us two more improved mechanical license which i'm hopeful we can just steal instantly from this drawer and once we have the two fantastic we can then go one and two and then, oh, but we need six of those. Okay, geez, that's fine. I think we had enough earth charges to maybe get that far. We do need six of those, though, because then we've got to do this, and then we can go one, and then as soon as we have two more, we can do the same again. We can get two more of these, one and two, and then we can do the same again. We can go and craft that. That's number two, and then two more. Fantastic. One and two. Let's do you, one and two, and boom. All right. Those were indeed, by far and away, the hardest part of this episode but the creative storage discs are done and so now it is just time for the creative energy cube for that we can request three final flux points from our system can i have three of those please and while you're at it can i also have maybe like 20 flux cores fantastic we'll take all of those and then can we manually craft like two more flux blocks i think the answer is yes and I think we can use this obsidian dust right here for that recipe. And then, of course, we should still have some of the blue mechanical essence over here. So can I get two of those? I think we have one in the system already, but uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's to see if we can't craft three flux plugs. One, two, and three. We can indeed. And so from there, one, two, three. We have three creative energy cubes. And I think that that's everything. I think now... We should be able to make three of these. We have the three remaining ultimate singularities. Let's take nine of these, like that. And then we do need to kind of take everything else out of here. So let's dump the stuff that we don't need to be carrying. And the system has somehow managed to get worse because now I think once you get too much EMC, the link here, the, uh, the transmutation interface just kind of breaks, at least with the storage scanner, because now if I search for cobblestone, it's not here, but... We have all of these other bits and pieces that have an EMC value, but if I try and shift click something that requires cobblestone in, the system knows that it has cobblestone and will give it to me, but it just doesn't show in the uh, in the storage scanner, which is very odd. But either way, uh, let's go ahead and dump even more of what we have here into the system, and then let's take basically all of this out. We don't need that many final stars, but that's fine. And then over here, can I shift click in three more of these? One, two, three. You know I can. And now, I think what we should do is we should take one draw, pick this guy up, being very careful not to throw it into the abyss. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to take all four of those out. Then, all we have to do is take four of these. So I'll take two more of those. We also need that draw upgrade. I forget the name of it. It is called the upgrade template. If we take the upgrade template here, we should have everything we need for the final item chat. We've done it. The creative vending upgrade, we get light snack raw cod <laughs> as a reward. The reason that I locked this drawer is because now, despite the fact that we have zero power flowers, I can take this creative vending upgrade and I can put that in there. Um, although, what I should do as well before I even do that is uh, I should take a, another drawer. And then if we want to duplicate the creative vending upgrade, what we want to do is grab something like a hopper 
so that we can put the creative vending upgrade into the draw. If you just right click it on there, it will end up going into the upgrade slot and then you can't take it out. So you want to put it in like that. Now it's in the draw, lock the draw, take it out. And now if you right click this on, now it's going to give you infinite. So you'll see at the top there, we've got 2G, which is basically an infinite number of creative ending upgrades. We can take these out, we can do this. And now we have an infinite number of these power flowers. I am intrigued to see if I get a like creative wand. Can I wand these down? It looks like the answer is yes. Look at that. Fantastic. So we can just line up really as many of these as we like now because we have an infinite number of them. We can make as many as we as our hearts desire. And then we can just throw all of these down until we're getting quadrillions of EMC per second. All right. So we're getting about 100, between 50 and 100 quadrillion. It seems to not be quite sure how much we're getting, but we're getting a lot of EMC. We've got almost two quintillion EMC available to us now, which we press uh, shift there is, uh, is quite a lot of numbers. And that's it. We've done it. We have defeated the pack. That is the final quest in the end game quest line. It's a store and retrieve items from the infinitely deep center of the final star. If you crafted this, congratulations, you win the mod pack. We've done it. If we wanted to, you know, we could go around and uh, put these into every single one of our drawers. And that would essentially give us an infinite amount of every item. You'll see the stack limit goes to, to infinite and we just have infinite of everything. And so that's where we are. We have now an infinite amount of all of the stuff. And with that, we have completed Mechanical Man Street. It's been quite the ride. It took a little longer at the end than I was expecting, though. And I was kind of hoping to get by with Pretty Pipes uh, just as a, a bit of a challenge, but for mix up, we uh, play with refined storage a lot. Uh, I want to try something new in this pack. And uh, unfortunately, couldn't quite get there. Uh, we definitely needed refined storage. It would have taken us an absolute age to craft that manually or to do it with Pretty Pipes. It would have also been a little bit of a nightmare, but we've done it. We have completed the pack. A uh, big thank you to Ammonium X, who is the maker of the pack. I very much so enjoyed the pack. I love these automation focus packs. Uh, if you enjoyed the pack, uh, you can go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to get notified as soon as a new Minecraft series starts. I'll be back fairly soon with more modern Minecraft, both here and over on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash gaming on caffeine is the place to be. That's why I'll be streaming new mod packs when I do stream them. But for now, thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you made it all the way to the end of the video. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this final episode of Mechanical Mastery there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.